Hi guys, Blake from Football Boots at Code UK, and today we're going to rank the best boots and cleats for strikers. So the types of players we'll be talking about in this video are the likes of Jamie Vardy, Lewandowski, Gonzalo Higuain, players that just get a lot of goals in their season. So the boots that we do include in this list are the most preferred options for strikers. So not wingers, not attacking midfielders, just strikers, players that are going to score a lot of goals. So if you want to see Ian's list of the best boots for midfielders, click on the card now, as well as Matt's list for the best boots for defenders, click on the card now. So if you are a striker, you know that any boot on the market should help to score you a lot of goals, but these are the most preferred options, which are backed by professionals alike. So the first bit we'll talk about is New Balance's Furon Pro 2. So this is a sort of speed, lightweight boot. The first generation was a bit stiff, and the second generation has come back with a much more flexible upper, the likes of Alvaro Negredo, Headlines the Furon Pro 2 for Middlesbrough. And yeah, you, you see that red colorway. You've also seen that black and white Furon Pro colorway as well. So a very sort of good lightweight boot for strikers. So the next boot we'll talk about is Puma's Everspeed SL2. So of course it's headlined by Sergio Aguero of Manchester City and Antoine Griezmann of Atletico Madrid, as well as Radamar Falco of Monaco. So this is the lightest boot on our list. It's just over 100 grams, the Everspeed SL2. It's the lightest boot on this list and it's definitely going to get you where you want to go quicker so it's got that really sort of super thin textile upper on the boots as well as that internal cage which sort of structures the upper as well and that three heel stud system on the heel there really really lightweight design you can also go for the Everspeed SL leather which does have that leather on the upper so it's going to be a bit more comfortable and slightly heavier as well as the Everspeed SL S which is the much more affordable and durable Everspeed in the range so the colorways included in the Puma Everspeed SL2 is that launch design of pink and yellow. You will have seen worn by Agro in the Copa America, as well as Griezmann in the Euro 2016. Not my cup of tea. You can also go for the red, black and white Trix edition, seen for the start of the 2016-17 season, as well as that new sort of tribal skull pack, black and yellow design, really sort of out there graphics design by Puma Football. So the next boot on our list is the Messi 16.1 or Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility. So this is the Speed of Light edition we have here. Messi himself, a winger more than a striker, actually wears the Messi 16.1 based on the fact that he just doesn't like this new pure cut sock system. So you can go for the Messi 16 Plus Pure Agility or the cheaper Messi 16.1. The Messi 16.1 was released in that Mercury pack, so silver and blue on that design and the new speed of light pack is pretty much all blue with a touch of white on the Adidas 3 stripes and yeah the Messi 16.1 is more of a combination of agility and speed in one it's not the lightest boot on the market and it's certainly not the heaviest boot on the market it sort of sits in the middle but in terms of weight but yes it will help in terms of agility it's very very responsive for an Adidas boot you've got that pure cut sock system on the Messi 16 plus pure agility which provides a really seamless strike on the ball great for any strikers wanting a clean and comfortable strike on the ball and protection wise it will help on that department as well so the next boot we'll talk about in this list is the Mercurial Vapor 11 so this is the Spark Brilliance Edition we've also seen later packs of the Pitch Dark as well as the Elite Pack Editions for the Vapor 11 stunning stunning boot very responsive you've got that no tongue design as headline by the likes of Manchester United strikers Ibrahimovic as well as Iheanacho for Manchester City so it's a very very responsive boot it's got that low cut design what the Superfly 5 doesn't have so it's got that no tongue design laces central lacing system and that contoured sole plate which is one of the most responsive and lightweight sole plates on the market it's 40% lighter than the previous carbon fiber seen on previous Mercurial Rangers and yeah it's a really traditional high quality speed boot you've got that horizontal ridge design on the upper on both sides of the boot just to help with friction on top of the ball as well for speed dribbles overall it's a very very good option for strikers it's really more of a wingers boot than a strikers boot but it is a good option for strikers on to our next boot and I've also got to mention that you can also get the Vapor 10 a Vapor 10 may be a better option for you if you are a player on a budget you probably get the Vapor 10 at much cheaper prices than the current or the recent released Vapor 11. So on to our next boot is the Puma Everpower 1.3. Now this is really Puma's striker's boot. You're going to see the likes of Olivier Giroud headline the boot for Arsenal as well as Aritz Ajuris in the Liga and Mario Balotelli for Nice. This is a really a striker's option and it is Puma's headline striker's option. So the main points about the Everpower 1.3 is it does have that off-center lacing system. So a larger and more cleaner strike on the ball you get with the Everpower 1.3. It is a power boot, 
So strikers and attacking midfielders, it's really your type of boot. So wide footed strikers out there, this could be an option for you. It's one of the widest boots on this list. And colorways for the Everpal 1.3, you've got that launch design of yellow, blue and black, a really, really nice design. As well as that secondary colorway of blue, black and white. Other colorways I can remember is that Trex yellow and pink design, as well as that celebration pack, which is gray, pink and yellow as well. And further additional red colorways, you really have a lot of options in terms of colorways for the Everpower 1.3. And we have that latest tribal sort of skull pack, which is yellow and black in color. Go graphics design, really, really headline design. The likes of Oliver Giroud will be headlining that boot. So on to our next boot on this list is the Mercurial Superfly 5. Now this is probably one of the most responsive boots on the market. It's really more of a winger's boot than a striker's boot. This is the Spark Brilliance Edition. So you've got pink on one side and crimson on the other side, as well as the black pitch dark edition. All decent colorways. I'm a fan of that pitch dark colorway. But yeah, it's got speed rib design on both sides of the boot. Slightly thicker on the medial side than on the lateral side of the boot. Brio cables and the dermot foot collar really locking down your foot in place. And of course, you've got that contour sole plate, which we also see on the Mercurial Vapor 11 as well. Very, very responsive sole plate and aggressive chevron studs as well, helping to accelerate and brake in the same sole plate. Really, really nice design by Nike Football. And of course, it's really more of a winger's boot than a striker's boot. Cristiano Ronaldo himself is a winger that scores a lot of goals. That's why he, we have included him in this list. He wears the Elite Pack, is the only striker or slash winger to wear the Elite Pack. And the likes of Paolo Dybala for Juventus is another player that wears the Superfly 5. And Marcus Rashford for Manchester United. Very, very lightweight boot, a much lighter boot than the Superfly 4 boot, based on the fact that the sole plate is 40% lighter than the previous generation. So on to our next boot is the X16 range by Adidas Football. So of course we've got the standard X16.1, which does have the laces and the X16 Plus Pure Chaos. We're gonna base this list on the X16.1, the likes of Avaro Morata, headlines this boot, as well as Karim Benzema. Luis Suarez are the head on wearers of the X16.1. Now, Luis Suarez is a very, very high goal scorer. He's very, very prolific for Barcelona. Are going to be the best striker you could talk about wearing the X16.1. It does have that laces. The upper is relatively stiff. It's a bit stiffer than what we saw on the X15.1. Now, if you did want a cheaper option, you could go with the X15.1. You'll get some cheap X15.1s on the market, as well as X15.1 leather editions. You can also go for the X16.1 leather edition. Now, if we talk about the Pure Chaos, the boot which does have that pure cut sock system, the likes of Thomas Muller, not an out and out striker, he does wear the Pure Chaos over the X16.1. It does have that pure cut sock system. It's a much more premium boot in Adidas's X range. So if you wanted a cheap boot, but was very, very responsive and sort of had that central lacing system, synthetic upper and that tip fit collar, definitely go for the X16.1. In terms of colorways, now we haven't seen a lot of colorways for the X16.1 and the X16 range. We saw, originally saw that Mercury pack design, which was silver and red. Now we see the speed of light design, which is pretty much all red with a bit of silver on the Adidas logo. Really, really nice design. And expect further colorways to be bold and bright for the X16 range by Adidas Football. But yes, the X16 range is definitely, definitely a good option for a striker. And yeah, it's really more of a winger's boot than a striker because it is a, it's lightweight focus. It's very, very lightweight. And of course, you've got that sprint frame at the start system, which is more or less focused on agility and speed in one. It doesn't really offer the cleanest strike on the ball. The Pure Chaos does because it has that pure cut sock system. It's going to offer a really nice clean strike on the ball. So great for strikers winning yeah, a clean strike on the ball. And yeah. On to our next boot on the list, and the best boot I recommend for strikers. I've worn this boot before, and I definitely recommend it if you want to get a lot of goals during the season, and that's the Hibernum Phantom 2. So this is the Spark Brilliance Edition. The main point about the Hibernum Phantom 2 is that it does have off-center lacing, has that new Nike skin upper. The Nike skin upper we originally saw on the first generation Hibernum Phantom. It does have that dinner fit collar, Personally, I wouldn't wear this boot. I would wear the finish. The finish has the low cut option. So this is the finish, has that low cut option of which the Phantom 2 doesn't have. But the upper on the Phantom 2 is the highest quality synthetic upper pretty much I've worn ever. And it is wide fitting, so it's another wide fitting option for strikers, as well as the Everpower 1.3. Dynamic fit collar, Brio cables, 
make this boot very very responsive this is the AG edition but it does have split toe and a conical stud system so agility turning acceleration it's all about responsiveness with the hybrid phantom 2 and so the players that headline the hybrid phantom 2 include robert lewandowski jamie vardy romelu lukaku daniel sturridge pierre emerick abamyang edin sinkavani maro kari peiko al Kaysa, and class jan hontela now yeah I just mentioned a few strikers here, the headline names. As you know, these are headline strikers, players that get 15, 20 plus goals a season. The likes of Robert Lewandowski is the, probably the best example for a player that does wear the Hydrant Phantom 2. Off center lacing, really clean strike on the ball. Strikers just love this boot. The boot itself replaced the Total 90 series by Nike Football couple years ago so that boot was a boot designed for strikers designed for players that wanted power in their shot and that's what the hybrid phantom 2 provides on to the finish now so a lot of strikers actually wear the finish as well so the likes of harry kane wayne rooney and gonzalo higuain for juventus are the head on wears of the finish yeah so this low cut option virtually the same boot as the hybrid phantom 2 same upper same rear cable same sole plate just that low cut option i would prefer the finish over the phantom 2 Based on the fact that the fit will be virtually the same and wide footed players probably would prefer the finish over the Phantom 2. Now in terms of colorways, we have seen that Spark Brilliance Edition. So a lot of different colorways, you've got the Pitch Dark Phantom 2, which is pretty much all black with a bit of yellow trim, as well as that new Elite Pack version. And further colorways for the Hybrid Phantom 2 will feature that new upper. So yes, the Hybrid Range is definitely my number one on this list. It's all about personal preference. I have worn the Hybrid Phantom 2, as well as the finish and the x one and the Superfly, so I definitely sort of know what I'm talking about. If you feel like I've missed the boot on our list, please comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.